Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to do a quick, I hope, video update. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking in this video because I think the pictures that I'm going to insert is going to tell the story. So if you are curious as to how my year-long use of the Olay Pro Retinol eye treatment has worked, stay tuned. Before I go into that, I just want to remind you all, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Please hit that little notification bell. And when you hit that notification bell, make sure it says that you will be notified of all my updates and not just on an occasional one. Because if you select occasional, that means YouTube will have the control over what you see and not you. Most of you know that a year ago on my birthday, February 14th, I started using the Olay Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. Now when I started to use that, I used that because I was very concerned about some of my deeper wrinkles that I have. I was really concerned about my wrinkles on the left side of my eyes the driver's side, you know what I mean, when you're driving. And for all of those years that I didn't wear sunblock and take care of my skin, I have some pretty deep crevices that are called wrinkles. They show up a whole lot when I smile, a whole lot. So I'm always very aware of those wrinkles. And when I started the Olay Pro Retinol, I started with the US version in the red tube. This one is empty, I've gone through it. I did when I bought this initially, it was one of those sales, I think, was it maybe Walgreens or whatever, but you know when you can buy one product and you get the, the other half off, I did buy two initially, so I still have the second unopened US version of the Olay Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. And I started to use that twice a day. I would literally put a little tiny dab right there on each eye and then I would tap it in and I would smile when I did it so that I could tap it in to the wrinkles as much as possible and I did this twice a day and sometimes I would go up here now it bears to mention that I am a Retin-A user so the differences you're going to see so it could very well have been the cumulative effect of my Retin-A use because I started to use Retin-A at the tail end of 2016 and I am now have been using Retin-A for over two years. And I normally, when I apply my Retin-A, go right down to my brow bones, right down to my brow bone. That means like below my, my eyebrow. And then I tap up here. I do not go under my eyes or close to the crevices of my eyes or into the crevices of my nose and, and lips. Retin-A travels. So the difference is that you might potentially see in my eyes this last year could very well be from my continued Retin-A use. However, when I started to use the Olay Pro Retinol, I started to go under my eyes. I would use my Retin-A in the same places, but I would go under my eyes into the deep wrinkles with the US version. Then I very quickly understood that there was a difference between the US version and the UK version and I got my hands on the UK version. I'm fortunate enough, I actually gave one away in a giveaway and I'm not going to give any more away. So no, it's not a giveaway. But I'm fortunate enough that I have still some here, not very much, and I have two tubes unopened from the UK that I got. I had a friend that traveled over to the UK that brought me back some, and I had another friend that visited from the UK that brought me some, um, and that's Gail from Random Life Production. She brought me my first UK Olay Pro Retinol, so thank you, Gail. So I started to use that, and I started to see that there was a little bit more of a difference in the sense that I could see a softening of my wrinkles. So literally, my Retin-A about three, sometimes four times a, a week now, and I do it the same way. I use my 1% all over my face. I do have the 0 0.05. Um, I have the 0 0.25 that I was using down my neck. But I would literally put this on twice a day, morning and at night. After I would put this on, depending on whether I was going out right away or whatever, I would use an eye cream. The eye cream that I have been using for the longest time is the from Timeless. And this is the eye, I would just do a little bit of a, a little dab and I would dab that on the corners of my eyes. Every night before I went to bed, I would put that on. 
Now I'm going to be using a new eye cream that was sent to me in a PR package from City Beauty, which I'm gonna talk about in another video. I'm like loving the ingredients, so I'm gonna be using that. This is nearly empty. I did not buy a replacement, but this is probably the fourth container or a tube of this that I have used since I started to use this and I absolutely love it. The City Beauty one, I think I'm going to love as well, but I don't know, I haven't started it yet. The only other thing that I've done to my eyes, and I stopped using this for probably about four months because I was concerned I was never gonna be able to get it again. And this was the Skin Firming and Soothing Concentrated Serum, Nevea. I hope I said that right. I know you're all gonna correct me, but it doesn't matter. My, I have such a creative mind, I'm never gonna remember when I need to know it. So, um, in that, you know, I always say that like when I am teaching and I have to have someone come up and, and say be a scribe because I can't spell for anything. So I have to have like I pull a student up or a participant up to, to write on the board for me. Uh, I'm my scribe and I always say don't worry about your spelling because people that, if you can't spell, it just means that you have such a wonderfully creative mind that you just spell things your own way. So that's what I always tell myself because I can't spell for anything. So anyways, um, I stopped using this for a while and then I started again. The only place I use this is a tiny little, and I literally put it on a Q-tip, a little dab on each inside pocket, the little fat pocket on each eye. I do not put it on my eye bags. I don't put it on anywhere else. I just put it there. And that is really all that I have done to my eyes. Now, I, f I am frequently asked if I've had eyelid surgery. I have not had eyelid surgery. I just got that question the other day again. I have not. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be embarrassed to say it if I did. I, just like if I had a facelift, I'd be like, yeah, I had a facelift, how awesome is that? I wouldn't be embarrassed. So my, my eye update, I promised you guys one year into this, I was going to do this update and now I told you that I was starting to see a slight softening and then I would go through phases as the year progressed. I'm like, oh man, am I really wasting my time and my money? Is this doing anything? I couldn't see anything. Everything started to look the same. But you know, when you look at yourself day in and day out, every day, you don't see the changes that you might see if you looked at yourself in a different way or somebody else saw you. So what I did is I took pictures when I started this in 2018 and I took pictures yesterday morning in 2019. So when at first glance at the pictures, I really didn't see anything. In fact, I said to somebody I was talking to, I was like, oh man, I don't see anything at all. But then when I enlarged the pictures, I could see some changes. I could see some changes. So I'm going to insert the 2018 pictures. You're probably seeing them right now. And then the 2019 and then I'm inserting some side-by-side -side photos here for you to take a look at. These photos were taken in the same spot, standing in front of my china closet in my dining room with natural light. I do not have a ring light. I do not have any auxiliary lighting. I'm just standing in my dining room on a sunny morning because my dining room and my kitchen and my living room, it's open concept, faces east. And I usually, and I have huge windows there, and I usually get a good amount of sun, morning sun, natural sun in that spot. So all of these photos were taken, and what was also, it bears to mention that in both of the photos, I am wearing the exact same foundation, which would have been at that point in time, the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate. And I probably have just one coat on it because I don't think I would have ever gone bare skin. I can tell by how my veins were covered in the first picture from 2018. So I did the same thing. I used my boots, number seven, Lift and Luminate. I have mascara on, I have eyeliner on, and I have lipstick and eyebrow pencil on. That's really about it. I don't have any, any concealer, I don't have any setting spray, I don't have any blush, I don't have anything else on my face. It is just trying to be equal and I, I wasn't looking to do, when I was taking the pictures, I wasn't looking to do a skincare update, but a wrinkle update in natural lighting, in the natural setting. And I was really concerned about the left side, as you can see. I'll let the pictures speak for themselves and let you all make a decision whether or not you see a difference, whether or not you think it might have worked for me or not. 
I will tell you that I am glad to have these and I will tell you that there is a US version of the UK version there's an it's um, and I'll try to find it and link it below I have not bought it yet but it has the same ingredients lineup as the UK version as opposed to the US version I know it sounds complicated I'll try to link them below link that below at this point in time I'm going to continue on it's been one year of consistent use and I do think and I firmly believe that you have to try a product longer than a week, longer than two weeks, longer than a month to really know if something is actually doing any good or not. At 65, happy birthday to me. I'll be 65 on February 14th, Valentine's Day. I don't expect to have my wrinkles disappear. I'm very realistic. I will be happy if the sunblock I use every day and the treatments I use keep them at bay to some degree. But I do know that age is going to be there for me. I'm 65. Next year I'll be 66. I'll be, you know, 70 and 80 and hopefully I will live to be a ripe old age and healthy. So I just want to be the best possible me I can as I age. And I will try things, but until I really try them for a while and I feel comfortable with them, I can't sit here and say, use it, use it, use it. So I'm just going to let the photos talk for me. And that said, I'm gonna end this video. I think you've seen enough. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you see a difference? Do you think I should continue to use the white UK version? Um, do you think it's worth it? Because it does cost a little bit more money to get it. Now, if you have people that are overseas that can send it to you, the shipping fees and all that stuff, it does, it's still pricey. So let me know, what do you think? Do you see a difference? Do you think I should keep doing it? And thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.